God Hits. Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. I'm your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. So guys, um, if you've been listening to the last few of these that I posted, I am outside. It is beautiful. The birds are chirping. People are cutting grass. You hear stuff in the background. I decided to just do what I felt comfortable with, and I just prayed that it's not too loud. If it is, y'all just drop it in the comments, and I won't do it again, but I genuinely wanted to enjoy, enjoy this son and really be obedient with still sharing the word of God the way he's leading me to. So with that being said, if you see the title, it says equal work, equal pay. Now, I'm not going to lie. I have seen this multiple times in the last month. I tried to document the different people that I saw speaking on it because I do want to be clear. This is not something that derived in my, my time just along with the Lord. This is something that God kept showing me from other sources and he told me to speak on it in particular on my platform. So I wanted to be clear about that. This is not something I'm coming up with. I definitely saw this multiple times. I saw men and women say it in two totally different ways, but they were saying the same thing. So here's what it is. So a lot of people don't realize that life and the luxury of life has nothing to do with money and cash and being able to have fancy things. What is most important in life when it comes to really enjoying ourselves and enjoying our true wealth and true luxury is having time and having everything you need to really just make the choices and decisions that you want, all while serving, all while enjoying your existence on this earth, but still doing things that help the greater good, right? So I realized that one of the things that we're missing in this generation, which is going to lead up to my next video, go home, I go, go hard, I go home. And I decided to go home. That's the next video. So stay tuned for that. But one thing that I realized is that people do not understand that when you are overworking yourself, you need to do just as much work as you have. Excuse me. You need to take just as much rest as you have done work. So let me break that down for you. There are many people right now who are caught up in go hard, go home culture. I was a victim of that. And I say victim because I did not realize that I was my own worst enemy trying to do and achieve things that I really wanted to do. I was not looking at other people. Real talk. I was not trying to, you know, listen to what somebody else was saying or do what somebody else was doing. I was doing my own thing. But what I was not listening to was how God wanted me to do those things. All stuff he wanted me to do. And I thank God that he gave me original ideas, original thoughts and things that he, you know, wanted me to, he wanted me to package and put out, but I was stressing myself out, overworking myself, not realizing that that is that part of it. That is not how God wanted me to approach the things that he was telling me to do. God wanted me to take a different approach. And it was a, an approach specifically catered to my personality, which was God given and who he has made me to be my tolerance level, how he wanted me to be out in the world and the whole thing. And I did not realize that until way later in my life. I want today to really help someone who's listening to me, who is in a space of overworking. This could be a nine to five. This could be for your business. And let me tell you something. I don't care what nobody say. That whole sleep when I'm dead, this and that. That's If that is your mantra, if that's what you feel gets you the results, I am 110% behind you if you believe that that is what God is telling you to do. If that's what you're telling you to do, I still don't have nothing to do with that. So I'm, you hear no judgment from me. But I fully support anything that you feel you're supposed to be doing from the Lord in your life. Nobody can dictate that to you but God. Okay, so that's not the role that I'm playing today. The role that I'm playing today is the, the, the part of mediator. Mediating between what you may have been believing as truth, but it is actually a lie and me trying to mediate and connect you to what the actual truth is. Let me tell you something about God. We serve a God of order. Okay. We serve a God of order. And one thing I want you to do, I'm not going to list it. I want you to go and I want you to check your word and find scriptures on God doing things in order. You will see how meticulous, how timely and how God did things in a way that suggested he believed that there was something to do that there was some type of blessing in doing things in a way he presented, not because he was trying to control us and not because he was trying to say, you better do what I'm doing, but because he knew if you did it this way, you were going to get the best outcome. 
what's happening right now in this world with many, many people, with especially with the new wave of all of the, the, the people making all the money online. And this person is a guru and we do this and we do that. Listen, I'm in a similar field, so I get it. But y'all, what's happening to a lot of people, a lot of people, you're working yourselves to death. You are overworking and you are underresting. And what, and, I, and you know what, that's, I'm sure that's not a word, but I said under slash resting. What I'm trying to tell you is this. If you are going to put in all that work and wear yourself out, you should rest just as much as you work in. So if you're going to keep working 16 hour days and you're going to keep working all this time and killing yourself and killing yourself, please make sure you begin to rest your body and you begin to rest your mind. And most importantly, rest your nerves, child. Rest your nerves, baby. Because let me tell you something. You beat and did all of that stuff worn yourself out and you literally creating carnage along the way you're, you're ruining all kind of other stuff that god wants you to have in abundance god wants you to enjoy enjoy in abundance but what what happens is when you start doing things and overdoing it and and and, and, and stretches stretching yourself too thin and putting too many things in place that god does not want in place it immediately dis it, it immediately begins to disqualify you from what it is that God is trying to give you. You don't want to be disqualified from something that you have genuinely worked so hard for. But you know when you become up for disqualification, when you supersede what God is saying to you about how you work and how you move. Listen to me. God is clear about your works not impressing him. So if you're spending all these all of these hours and all of this time doing work to impress other people, that is never going to end well. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care how many people say you're great and you're awesome. It's never going to end well. Okay? People work hard every day. People get accolades. People reach their goals. And a lot of those people are very full and very balanced. I personally know people like that. They get to the top of their game, but they're keeping God first in everything they do. Meanwhile, there are other people who are obsessed with feeling like I never want to feel like I don't have nothing again. I don't never want to have to ask nobody for nothing. I don't never this. I don't never that. Y'all, these types of behaviors, these types of things that we have believed to be so commonplace. We believe for these things to be so natural for us. These things are not natural. And many people going to fight me on it. But hey, that's fine with me. Because here is what it is at the end of the day. This is not about just sitting around, not doing nothing with yourself or your life. This is not about saying that you're not supposed to work. Some people are called to do hard work. Some people do smart work. And sometimes it's interchangeable in our lifetimes. But what I'm saying to you is it makes no sense to drive yourself crazy and overwork yourself to death because you are trying to impress other people and you are not hearing from God. Let me tell you something. God will do things decent and in order. If you're feeling like you're dying and passing out all the time, please reconsider and think about about if that's really God leading you to do that really think about it because the thing that that sticks out to me the most is that we have this you know we as a, a society have this false sense of accomplishment it's great to accomplish things because sometimes in our hard work or smart work and accomplishments it literally shows other people things that they might have thought in their head they couldn't do and God may use you to prove to them that you can be from anywhere and accomplish anything so I want to be very clear. There is a space for all of this stuff. But who I am talking to today and what I am talking about today is are, are, are the, the people who miss equal rest, equal work. Somebody needs that particular word right now. Some of you are overworking and not resting enough. So I pray that if this is for you, you will sit down and you will ask yourself, if you feel like you have too much to lose by resting properly so that you can recharge well, I would suffice it to say that you may not necessarily be inside the will of God. And you can say, well, Robin, you don't know what God told me. No, I don't have to know what he told you. But I know one thing, he's not out of order and he don't cause confusion. And I really don't believe in my spirit. He would want you to be walking around like a zombie because you're trying to impress other, other people who really don't care anyway. This is the type of stuff that people don't like to talk about. But when you're tiring yourself out and driving yourself crazy like that, who are you really doing that for? Who are you really doing that for? You know, I, I've been talking to some colleagues lately about that, and it's been really intense. And in one of our last exchanges and group meetings, it really became plain to me that many people do not land in the space that God wants them to be in because there is a fear that they won't be able to make it. There is a fear that they won't be able to handle their business and get the things that they feel God most wants for them. Okay?
And I'm here to encourage you that, yes, you will go through seasons where you got to go hard and go home and you got to work, 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 where I'm not saying that you won't because I've experienced that multiple times. And I'm sure I'm embarking on those seasons very soon again. But the thing that I want you to take with you is this. If you're going to work your behind off like that, you better rush your behind off, too. It's only one of you. And a huge part of self-care and providing for the for your temple the way God wants you to is resting. People do not understand that resting is also working if it is done in a way in which God tells you to do it. Sometimes you have to rest because your body needs to be at work rejuvenating itself. It needs to be at work preparing you for when you have to go out there again. So please don't get it twisted. Okay, if you are going to work, 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 you better rest, rest, rest. It is not cute. It is not cool. And it is simply out of order. I do not know where this mindset came from that you have to do that. And it's admirable because you're wearing yourself out. We have to unlearn these things. These are weird things, y'all. These are weird things. Myself, too. We have just been training ourselves to believe that things, these are the things that God wants. And I don't believe that. We have to unlearn not understanding that when you get the peace of God that surpasses all understanding, there is a, there, it, it's like a certain, you know, it's almost like a Jesus y autopilot you get on. That does not mean that you are not working. That does not mean that you are not handling your business the way you are to handle your business. It doesn't mean that at all. But you have to be careful that you are not overworking yourself or you are not, uh, resting enough because someone else is telling you that you're not doing it the way that they deem fit if they don't see you throwing your life away and wasting all your time overworking and not resting and doing whatever you have to be careful y'all that's the enemy don't let other people's insecurities spill into your workspace and spill into your mind to make you think that you are inadequate do not do it i have done that time and time again and i tell you one thing i promise robin i ain't doing that no more because one thing I will tell you, I love work. And when it comes to doing the work of the Lord, but especially the things that he's given me through my gifts, my talents, my calling, my anointing, I love doing that kind of work. I love being able to use my gift and my voice and my writing skills and my branding skills and my experience uh, skills and all of these incredible things, my fashion skills, my mental skills, my spiritual skills, whatever he's given me, that kind of work, I absolutely love it because that's the work he called me to do, not the work that someone else maybe thinks I should have been doing or should be doing. I have experienced that ever since I was a little girl. I remember in high school being a part of something and because other people thought something to me, they wanted me to do a particular type of work. And when I didn't want to do it, I got bashed for it. But even as a young person, I knew better than that. I didn't know everything, even in my adulthood, but there were some things I knew since I was a little girl. Yeah, like that dog ain't going to hunt with me. And some of you need to check back into that for yourself. You need to check back into that for yourself. This is not about being lazy. This is not about sleeping all day and not having a life. This is about balancing yourself out. Because let me tell you something. If you if you have prioritized doing man-made work and you are prioritized, you are misprioritizing that based on the type of work and how God wants you to work through his vision and his calling for your life, his purpose for your life, I can guarantee you, you can do all that work for a long time and it's still not going to end well. I don't have, I don't care how cute it is. It's not going to end well. And just because you do a lot of work and just because you rest, it does. Sorry about that. <laughs> it does not mean that you're going to always get the top thing. It doesn't always mean that you're going to get a particular result that you're hoping for. But one thing I can tell you is this. There will come a time and there will come a place that God will honor the things that he told you to work on and the things that he told you to do. Listen, for those of you who have that nine to five that God blessed you with and he called you to work, you work that thing with honor and respect. You do the things that God is calling you to do in that nine to five space. Okay? You do that thing. Because guess what? That's something God called you to do. If you know, you know, you know who I'm talking to. Everybody is not called to just be an entrepreneur or just to be doing whatever. Everybody has a different calling and a different light in life. God has called many people to work under established nine to five structures. And then he gives them money to invest. And then they still acquire wealth. I mean, excuse me, acquire wealth. It doesn't mean that you have to acquire wealth by owning your own business. There's more than one way to skin a cat. You don't have to do things the same way. But I do think it's very important that you hear me. For those of you who catch this uh, this YouTube page every now and again, listen, like, share, subscribe, turn on your notifications, make sure you let other people know. But as I close out, I want to be close out. Excuse me. I want to be very clear with you. We all have work to do while we're here on this earth. 
Some of us, we work with our hands. It takes blood, sweat, and tears. We're tired. We're cutting. We're chopping. We're writing. we mixing. we folding. We're doing all kinds of different things with our hands. We're doing all types of different things in the form of work and the way in which God calls us to do it. So let's be clear. Even if your work in a particular season is to rest and to be quiet, you are still working the way God called you to. But it is important that whenever you do some type of work, that you also do equal rest. And I would also encourage you to seek God on the type of rest. Because every rest is not laying in the bed sleeping. And every rest is not stopping a project or not working on it. This is why my entire platform is always to present and then to redirect you back to the Lord. Why? Not only for you to think for yourself, but just to understand how much how much power you have when you do connect to God and when you do connect yourself to his perfect will for your life. Equal work, equal rest. I'm wired to inspire. I hope you are too. Oh God hits.